Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Got a brand new bunch of figures and we're going to kick off uh, with this one. It is Dark Side Vision Ray from the Rise of Skywalker brand new wave. Big thanks to goodiestoys.com.au for this wave of figures. I just picked them up this afternoon. I'm so blown away by these figures. These are fantastic. This is one I've been really, really excited about because I have I have a fondness for for Ray and Daisy Ridley, and uh, I, I really like the uh, the look of her dark side vision and that scene. However quick it was, um, I think it was fantastic. I'm really looking forward to opening this figure up and getting a closer look. So yeah, number one from the Rise of Skywalker. This kicks off this really cool blue blue color, and uh, yeah, we'll get a close up there. Yeah, love that artwork. I'm going to be um, going to be saving the artwork for the from the box. Um, and this is one I may end up getting a second one of just to keep in the box because uh, yeah, I really like the look of it. And uh, hopefully a Ben Solo isn't too far away either. That'd be fantastic. First first Rise of Skywalker figure in a long time, considering the movie has only been out for 12 months. Uh, yeah, let's crack her open and have a look. All right, and here is the figure out of the packaging. This is looking fantastic. I really like what they've done here. I love the design for Dark Side Ray. I think she's fantastic. Um, one probably slight flaw, if you want to call it that, is that uh, in the film, the lightsaber blades are sort of that flickery, disjointed look like Ky Kylo Ren's lightsaber, that um, unstable, I think they refer to it as. And here we get two sort of simple red blades, but uh, that's fine. I'm more than happy with what we've got. Uh, it's totally fine. Um, yeah, it is the it is the only accessory, which is all she really needs. So <laughs> we'll get a close up look. So it looks nice, cool double blade. I am assuming that these blades are removable, but um. For the moment, it does just sort of swing back on that hinge, so you can have that sort of double-bladed look, which is awesome. Good look at the face. Really great likeness there as well. I like the sort of slightly more peaked eyebrows to give it a little bit more of an aggressive look. The hood looks great over the top as well. Um, yeah, not removable uh, as far as I can see. No need to really anyway. Um, but the texturing on the whole outfit is sort of rippled, rippled look a lot like Kylo Ren's. Um, you know, given the same effect of Kylo, Ren, Kylo Ren's sleeves and outfit from the first movie from The Force Awakens as well. The legs. Looks great. She's wearing the the ring. I'll see if I can focus in on that. Don't really recall what the ring symbolizes, but uh, yeah, I do like what they've done with the plastic hood. Um, I don't think it would have worked as well with soft goods. As much as I love soft goods, um, just the sort of shape of it in this instance works really well i think it looks great i'm looking forward to posing up this ray with the uh regular light side ray and uh having them have a bit of a duel i think that would be a lot of fun to set up but yeah really really great figure she uh has a ball jointed neck um you can sort of see she has a f i have sort of twisted around a little bit there is a fully sculpted head in there you assume there may be a different version down the line, maybe. Um, or whether or not they just uh, changed up the paint apps for the existing sculpt and just uh, reused it. Uh, no lower neck joint. But uh, she does have uh, the butterfly joints in the shoulders there, so you get a little bit more range of articulation, which is fantastic. Pinless technology in the elbows, which is great. Same with the legs. Ankles are fantastic as normal as well. And yeah, just the way the soft goods is put on here and they sort of folded that over so it sort of falls back. 
and there is a stitch line that sort of goes down on either side just to sort of hold it in that sort of flared back position whether or not that could sort of drape forward around her like a bit of a dark side robe I'm not sure oh, I'll take some more time to play around with this figure it's a, it's a cracker I'm really really impressed with this one I'd love to hear what your thoughts are please drop them in the comments below again shout out to Andy at goodiestoys.com.au for, for sending this one to me or passing this along you literally gave it to me in a plastic bag <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you think below. Please give a like to this video if you'd liked it. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I've got some more cracking reviews coming straight right up. And uh, yeah, there's always new Star Wars content on my channel when I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So thank you very much for watching. Appreciate your time. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.